Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, our opening show for 2024, Jamaica's 2022 Horse of the Year, Atomica, dominates the Ian Levy Cup as the new season opens at Caymanus Park. We flash back to Boxing Day cards with impressive two-year-olds on show at the Garrison Savannah in Barbados and Santa Rosa Park in Trinidad and Tobago, setting themselves up for three-year-old classic campaigns. And there's hardly an at-the-track show without a Safid Joseph headline story. The Barbadian champion trainer logs yet another stakes win at Florida's Gulfstream Park. Plus the usual weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Jamaica. Only five starters in Monday's New Year's Day feature at Caymanus Park. The prolific Atomica coming in with 13 wins and 18 lifetime starts. The heavy favorite ready to atone for her Mute Mal disappointment when jockey Dane Dawkins fell from aboard her approaching the home turn. There's the field, all with the exception of the two-horse sister in Treasure raced in December's rich Mute Mal. Number one, Mamma Mia, third in the Mute at 5-2 to two odds here. The Oak Ridge Farms five-year-old Mayor Atomica, the 3-5 to five favorite in the three box. Number four, Is That a Fact at 7-2 to two, and the 2 to one second favorite in post position five, Perfect Brew. Like she did in the Mute Mile, last year's Phyllis Guinness and Oaks winner Mamma Mia led early with brisk splits of 23 by 45-3. But with ace commentator Brad Rickman picking them up mid-race, it's Atomica taking control. As they have left the five and come away now toward the final half of a mile in the Ian Levy. Atomica now slips through and opens up a gap quickly. Is that a fact? Is going in pursuit and cuts the lead to two and a half lengths. Sister in Treasure is another three lengths back. Perfect Brew is next. And Mamma Mia has hauled up at the back of the field as they run toward the final three eighths of a mile. Atomica out in front. Track. By is that a fact needing to find a length and a piece as they drive past the 516. Sister in Treasure is six lengths off them, then Perfect Brew as they come into the lane. Atomica with the lead near the rail. Is that a fact now pulling alongside and the battle is on. The battle continues to rage. Atomica giving way. Is that a fact on the outside? Atomica rallying on the rail. It's Atomica. And is that a fact in a duel in the stretch? They race past the furlong pole and now Atomica asserts and begins to open up. Is that a fact? Is four it's Atomica coming away. This is the fourth running of the Ian Levy Cup. And Atomica obliges and will win easily in the end by five or six over. Is that a fact? Atomica has no challengers in deep stretch as she pulls clear to win with authority. Former champion jockey Dane Dawkins and trainer Gary Sabrati each logging their second Ian Levy Cup win. Dawkins had scored in 2022 aboard Mahogany and Sabrati's Nipster had won the inaugural staging in 2020. The Oak Ridge Farms Atomica rebounds from her Mute Mal defeat with a 5 and 3 quarter length win in the Ian Levy as a 3 to 5 favorite, registering a sixth win in her last seven starts. Is that a fact? Second at 7 to 2, 1 minute 43 and 4 fifths, Atomica's winning time for 8.5 furlongs. Monday's second feature was the SVREL Fan Appreciation Day Trophy Race over 9 furlongs and 25 yards, and it's the consistent Neo Star coming off 4 wins and a second place finish in his last 5 starts in control, entering the home stretch. They're at the top of the lane and Neo Star now hits the front. Here comes a sensational move on the outside. Neo Star driven for old Edward. Sensational move coming back for more. It's Neo Star in front. Sensational move trying to get to Neo Star. Neo Star is still in front and traveling while well. it's Neo Star and the sneaky fox Radish Roman beginning to get away from the field. And this is the SBRL fan appreciation though. Appreciation Day trophy. Neo Star. Kevin Burnside on commentary, the PJK team's Neo Star with a fifth win in seven lifetime starts, continues Radish Roman's good form. The 25 year old jock on an afternoon double and stretches his winning streak to a colony best nine consecutive race days. Neo Star at 3 1 scores by 3 3 quarter lengths for trainer Peter John Passad. Sensational move at 6 1 is second. The winning time in the 9.1 furlong SVREL Fan Appreciation Day Trophy, 1 55 and 3 fifths. Saturday's main events were the divided Vestia Trophy races, Division 1 favorite Money Miser, but it was the 2-1 bet Norblar with a polished run under former champion jockey Christopher Mamdeen, scoring by 5.5 lengths, chased by Money Miser and Huntsman and stopping the clock at 1.32 and 2 fifths. Form jockey Tevin Foster was just as big a winner in the Vestia Division 2, steering the 1-2 favorite Divine Force to the win ahead of the second favorite All for Love. Divine Force scoring a six and a quarter length win, fittingly for trainer Philip Fiani, who trained Vestia to 
triple classic success in 1993. Let's flash back quickly now to Boxing Day season closing meets in Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, where exciting two-year-olds advertised some promise for classic racing in 2024. First to Barbados, the favorite Mercedes in the Express Cash Trophy experienced some traffic problems but would recover with an outside run in the hands of the skillful Ricky Walcott. As they turn for home, it's Queen of the South on the inside, on the outside, Mercedes on the right hand, right, trying to close. It is Queen of the South drifting under pressure on the outside, Mercedes picking them up. It's Queen of the South, so Mercedes, Mercedes and Queen of the South, Mercedes is going to get home and wins it despite being hampered. Dean Springer on commentary, Mercedes finishes strongly on the outside for the win for trainer Richard Dean. No trainer had more wins in 2023 than he had. This filly by Aston Martin out of the Janak Mare Janaki gets her second win in four starts for owners Curlin Felician and Stephen Jardine. Mercedes by a length and a quarter as the 7-5 favourite wins the Express Cash Trophy ahead of Queen of the South at 6-1, clocking 142 flat for the 7.8 furlong trip. Meanwhile, at TNT Centre, Rosa Park, after a 2023 Triple Crown success within the headlines, another Philly sired by Headline News, poised for classic glory. Headlines again, making the St. James and Ann Stakes look easy. Watched in the com box by John Rupert. They come to the top of the stretch in the St. Anne St. James Stakes, and Headlines again brings them there. A leader by two and a half lengths, creme de la creme. The stick is out on her. Then comes Red Alert staying on. Hot Rod Cashton looks to be beaten. Uncle Rogers running on, but inside the final 200 meters, and Headlines again is pulling clear, and she's going to remain unbeaten. Another Stakes victory, and a classy filly. Headlines again. Impressive. Champion jockey Brand Boudram Singh for champion trainer John O'Brien. The third straight St. James St. Anne's win for that super combination after Crown Prince in 2021 and Hello World in 2022. By headline news out of the whole that Tiger mare, Sherry's Tiger, headlines again, is owned by Ruth Ben Smith, who also bred the filly. Three wins in a row now for the undefeated headlines again, following up on her early December nursery stakes victory, scoring by six and a half lengths in Santa Rosa Park's biggest two-year-old event as a 1-9 to nine favorite, topping stablemate Creme de la Creme and clocking 124.96 for six and three-quarter furlongs. And what a story for jockey Boudram Singh, champion for the fifth year in a row despite missing five and a half months of the season while campaigning in Canada. A last day triple completed with the last race of the year, propelling him to the top with 14 wins. His ninth TNT Jockeys title, championed by a single winner over Dylan Kellowan and champion apprentice Tristan Phillips, who both had 13 wins. And let's not leave the Caribbean without quickly giving last weekend's announcements of the 2023 awards for the rising Guyana thoroughbred racing industry. He was beaten in the New Year's Day feature by Bossalina, but on the strength of wins on Guyana Cup Day and Boxing Day, Spankhurst is Horse of the Year for 2023. For Jumbo Jet Racing, the champion owners, Colin Ross won the Jockey of the Year award. And we are expecting significant growth in Guyana's racing this year, with over 60 horses imported from Trinidad and Tobago and the United States to improve the racing and breeding stock there. To that Safi Joseph Jr. story now, the Barbadian champion trainer boosting his log of stake swings for 23 to 17 at Gulfstream Park in Florida. Eyeing a second consecutive win in the $150,000 Harlan's Holiday Stakes, Safi had two entries approaching the home turn, his pair, well-placed New York traffic in second and O'Connor in third. Peter Yellow behind the binoculars watching. They went three quarters in one ten and four. Grant Aspen has the lead. O'Connor has secured the inside spot, but he's a length and a half behind. From the outside, it's Octane. Nobody running home from the back. We're down to two chances here off the turn and the stretch drive. The leader is Grand Aspen. On the inside, O'Connor has a 16th to get by. New York traffic back running again. Funnel 16th of a mile. New York traffic not done. He's closing ground. O'Connor finishing up toward the rail. Here's O'Connor inside. O'Connor gets up to win it. There's the big entourage for Safi Joseph's O'Connor with jockey Tyler Gaffleone in the winner's enclosure. Completing back-to-back -back added money wins, having scored in the Hagyard Fayette Stakes at Keeneland in October, O'Connor lands the Harlands by a neck clocking 143.80 for eight and a half furlongs. New York traffic third in a 1-3 finish for Safi Joseph, who had won the Harlands holiday last year as well with Skippy Long stocking. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA before we go. I've counted in the past week since our last show, 14 of them. Among them, the Jamaican trainer Raymond Handel with two wins at uh, Aqueduct in New York, where Guyanese trainers Randy Prasad and Naipaul Chatterpole 
also won two weekend wins at Tampa Bay Downs for the Jamaican trainer Ronaldo Richards. And there were wins at Mahoning Valley for the Jamaican champion trainer Jason Acosta and at Charlestown in West Virginia for the Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of Kings. Check us out again next week.